Hi guys, this is Sandeep Khera from Conical Education. I welcome you on this live session. So yeah, let's let's wait for for others to join in couple of minutes, and then we will begin. <coughs> uh, let me know if you if you can hear me well. Uh, you have any issues in listening or in audio or in the video? Then then I can fix it quick quickly. Yeah. So. <coughs> Hi Abhinash Babu. Hi Lakshya. Good to see you guys there. Hi Jabin. So hope you guys are doing good. <coughs> yeah, Lakshya. I'm also very excited today because uh, this is first session which is more focused on students. so uh, definitely be prepared for a lot of information coming in which you will not find at lot of places because a lot of information is scattered so i try to bring in from official websites and through my experience and knowledge i try to bring forward all this information so that it helps you guys to to decide better <coughs> yeah <coughs> okay uh, i think we can begin and then uh, let's see uh, how it goes so first of all uh, definitely it is one of the critical topics to decide uh, which university which course you want to take and sometimes students are really lost what to do and then uh, they they don't find their way and sometimes because of these reasons they keep thinking about it and they can't even make to germany they can't even make to europe so that's why i think uh, i should be focusing on these things and then yeah so i will definitely you can expect in this session lot of things which you which you never heard before like what should be the selection criteria okay what what are your uh, personal priorities what are your uh, uh, what do you want to do in in your in your life in the long term in short term how these courses can benefit you and, and based on all these factors you can definitely decide and it's uh, be prepared and watch the video watch the live session attend the session till the end to gain maximum information i'm telling you it's going to be very useful today yeah hi sonal yeah uh, thanks uh, thanks for confirming that i am audible thanks for that okay let's let's move further into the session <clears throat> so first of all let's talk about the common mistake which most of the students make uh, when they are looking to study abroad or not even abroad uh, these are the things which you can even apply to universities look for uh, within india or in your home country itself so that's why it's a more this session is more focused to think from a general perspective what you can do uh, so definitely it's more relevant to germany but yes it's also relevant to other study uh, you want to study in other countries so that's really going to be very useful for you okay so first mistake what students make whether they carry some work experience or they don't carry experience at all they come they are coming fresh out of the college uh, especially the students who who just finished their bachelors or uh, they want to study in masters or some students who want to study bachelors they are finishing up their 12th they are finishing up their pre university or they are attending the student college so uh, they definitely make these kind of mistakes so first one is uh, they follow the others what uh, especially as i said who don't carry the work experience they try to see okay what their friends are doing so and they try to they ask them they ask bunch of people what are you doing and then they th think okay they are uh, my friends are uh, going for data science or my friends are going mathematics course 
or my friends are going for other course then i should also go for that but then that is the biggest mistakes don't follow anyone because every person is different they have their own criteria they have own they have their own capabilities and then based on that they have decided what they want to do so accordingly you have to see what you can do what is possible for you and then you can plan your study accordingly so yeah so uh, so you must really think about yourself and then you decide for the course you decide for the university and the uh, next mistake i want to talk about most of most of the students think short term they don't think long term if you see you if you are coming for master study the course is definitely going to be at least 18 months or 2 years or in some cases in some cases it could be 2.5 years but in that case to you as the considering that how technology is growing so fast whether that course will be in demand at that point of time whether when you pass out so you have to think long term for example if i talk about agriculture related courses I, in germany those courses might not be in so much demand but definitely th those courses are more relevant in other countries where agriculture is the main mainstream business or mainstream uh, related to the jobs in those country yes but in germany agriculture related courses are not relevant so think in those term think about if you are uh, if you are from engineering background from software you can think about data analytics you can think about ai you can think about machine learning you can think about mecha mechatronics or informatics or some other courses or maybe electrical also is it is electrical or automotive are also in very high demand so you always have to think long term not short term i will definitely talk about after talking these mistakes i will also talk about the solutions how you can get around all these issues and prepare well and uh, make your move easy and well informed so that you don't have to struggle even after coming here because if you decide based on after making these mistakes you choose a course for yourself then you might struggle here and you might think okay this course is not for me and you might start looking for the option to change the course after first semester so better to avoid such kind of things why you want to go in that direction uh, it's better to find a university to find a course which is more relevant for you as a person based on your experiences and all these factors <coughs> uh, third mistake i have noticed that most of the students target the universities and uh, it is relevant in some of the con countries for example if i talk about india like iims are there or maybe iits are there then you can think about the universities in those cases but and also if you talk about us there also universities are more relevant but in germany it is more about the courses it is not about the universities for example if i talk about technical university of munich it has its own specialties so you must focus on those courses when it comes to uh, let's say again data analytics course i i was reading researching somewhere and i found that data analytics course data engineering course in uh, technical university of munich ranked as number 2 in germany right then if you want to study in that course then definitely tum is the priority for you on the other hand tum is the first uh, tum is the uh, considered as a most prestigious institute in germany right but it is not relevant for you if you if you want to study a course which is not in very uh, not relevant from the university standpoint the, some other universities are available in germany which are which are more uh, considered more prestigious when it comes to that course so always uh, consider to target the courses not the universities okay so that's that's really really important fourth one is no prioritization <coughs> so uh, when i talk about prioritization there are two different kind of prioritization you have to think about so they do uh, students don't prioritize what they want to do right so let's say they have shortlisted three or four courses and they are applying to them but you must have a priority at the back of your mind uh, which course will be will has has the more priority for you which course you want to go for and in the same way let's say uh, you you are more you are more focused towards uh, study you want to gain maximum value out of the course then location of the institute doesn't matter to you uh, you are living in you, the university which you are targeting the course you are targeting is in is in the small city right then 
it uh, uh, for some students living in small city might not be relevant because part time job opportunity part time job opportunities will be less there in will be less in those small cities compared to if you are studying somewhere in berlin frankfurt hamburg dusseldorf so if you are living around the city then part time jobs are also available so again this is one of the factor which which relates to money you want to do the part time job for some of the students that's not going to be a big concern they are they are okay to spend the money out of their block account for some of them they want to save the money in, in the block account and they want to do the part time jobs so these kind of prioritizations you must have in your mind and next is never thought own interests and passion again it goes back to the first point first mistakes the first mistake that i mentioned they follow the others they try to see what others are doing then accordingly i can decide but again uh, for me for example i want to do the master study or some other course then i would prefer to go into a science related course right so because this is, i have done engineering in a, from the software background so i would prefer to go in that direction why would i go for some other course which is related to for example mathematics or maybe some other agriculture or industrial engineering or chemical engineering so these kind of things you have to see what you can do what is your own interest instead of thinking about others what they are doing don't go behind the herd don't go behind the people just think about your interest think about your passion and it is always i know it's difficult to think about your passions i will talk about how you can explore these things that how you can think which course is more relevant to you according to your background i will talk about these things further in the in the session and by the way this is going to be a very quick session so stick around it's i am not uh, going to have it very long it's going to be like 15 minutes or maybe maximum 20 minutes not more than that i kept it very short so that you you guys get the maximum information and uh, i know it's very late there uh, especially in india and other countries nearby so uh, i will keep it short <clears throat> again and the next point next mistake students make is their own capabilities they don't know what they are capable or maybe they know they are capable but still they try to go beyond that for example uh, i have done bsc right so then uh, there can be many options for me to study uh, whether i want to go i want to go for uh, masters in business administration some management course or whether i want to go for a technical research related course because i have done bsc it's science related but some people might want to go towards the administration side because they have more interest in that so you have to think again what you are capable of definitely if i talk about uh, i have done bsc and uh, i'm really excited to talk about science science computers artificial intelligence but uh, or data science but am i capable to deal with statistics am i capable to uh, to work in data engineering am i capable to do uh, do more into deep dive into data deep dive dive into data analytics so i have if i have that kind of thought process that i can Uh, uh study that course uh, those things make sense to me then definitely i can do but again if those things are not making any sense to me then i would prefer to go a less complicated course for me which is more interesting for me and which i am uh, which which i am uh, the subjects for example i am studying i feel like okay i am not studying at all so maybe uh, biology or psychology or economics so those kind of things i can consider what is my capability and then i can decide <clears throat> so let's let's move on to the next slide before i before i go further uh, maybe uh, would be great if you guys tell me if you have any any doubt or you can just comment uh, in the chat you can mention if you have do any doubt until now otherwise we can proceed further i will definitely address those doubts so uh, let's move further <clears throat> so next factor as i said first i talked about the mistakes right now the main selection factors so as i said research your interest research your passion how you can do that you 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 have done graduation or you have finished your 12th class you can think about what kind of projects you did in during your 12th or 11th or uh, during bachelor's what kind of projects you worked on and what kind of projects you enjoyed in while working on them for example if you are coming from electrical engineering background and you enjoyed something related or maybe you are coming from electronics background right and you made a project related to internet of things for example then 
it definitely makes sense for you to go for a masters related to iot related to internet of things then it makes sense you can relate yourself and another advantage of taking this approach is that you will be uh, getting the admission will be more easier for you you have the relation you have the connection <clears throat> if you have that kind of connection university see university see that okay this guy has this kind of background he has this kind of project or maybe you can also think about your part time jobs you have done or volunteer experience which is related to 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 the course you can highlight always highlight those things and if you feel that okay those things when you were doing those kind of part time jobs volunteer jobs you were enjoying then definitely you can uh, bring those thing forward in your applicant application documents in your application form in your cover letter in your cv so all those things really make a difference and you will definitely have a good will have a good chance to get the admission in such universities so think in those terms always as a uh, next point is okay well, next selection factor could be target and shortlist courses uh, i as i already explained in the previous slide you should in when i when you are in germany you are looking to study in germany uh, you must target the courses and you must not target the universities and for targeting the courses there are uh, there are basically mainly two sites uh, as per my experience as per as per my knowledge you can go to dart website you can go to chhe rankings so chhe ranking has uh, have their own website but yeah again if you uh, chhe rankings are also available on dart website just google about dart chhe rankings you will find there so let me show that quickly to you uh, how uh, you can use those websites for example chhe rankings and how you can shortlist the courses there i will show you very quickly and so that it is more useful for you <coughs> so for i just google about uh, uh dart chhe rankings then i found this page and then uh, then i uh, so i am on this page and then i can see okay what kind of courses make sense to me what which courses are more relevant to me so yeah <clears throat> so for example if i choose here uh, computer science for example and i want to do i want to do masters in applied sciences for example okay then i'm going to search here okay so here you can see there are roughly 82 institutions which are offering computer science in uh, when it comes to university of applied sciences masters so there are 82 institu institutions and they are ranked by chhe rankings so so uh, they are ranked by them so but this data is definitely available on dart website as well so you can see uh, there are different factors number of uh, master degree students studying their overall study situation and this as means these ratings are uh, provided by the students and uh, uh, how how well is the support in studies from uh, uh, let's see what kind of support is there students evaluate help in facilitating networking among students mentor systems information concerning organization of their course so you can always think in those factors what is more important for you overall study situation support in the studies or international orientation is very good for example you can see the, for international students they have a, they are given like six out nine out of six points which is really a good number right so you can think in those, those terms and it's not only about these factors what you can see here you can also just change your search criteria you can always change the criteria here you can go and you can select the factors what factors you want to focus on for example factors related to academic study and teaching how are the exams study organization teachers support support in studies so these kind of things and then if you go how is the equip equipment in the in that course in that university it in how is the it infrastructure there how is the library there so these these factors you can always consider and then international orientation if if i want to see which courses are more more focused towards international students coming out of germany coming out of europe then definitely you can consider this factor you can select or deselect accordingly for me personally because uh, my motive is that 
let's say i i would have came here to study then uh, my motive is to that i finish up my master and then i uh, i must get settled here i must get a job here most of the students will have that kind of priority so you can just filter out uh, these criteria try to see which universities are focusing more about job market preparation how well the students are prepared when they study in these courses in these these universities so these kind you can select these factors okay there are certain other factors uh, if you have town and university how is the proportion of students or maybe num uh, some other factors you might you might want to see okay if you are going into th research related course then you can consider these factors then once you have chosen these factors you have to apply this filter and then it will resort the result based on based on your filter based on the criteria you have chosen right <coughs> okay yeah now i can sort my results and uh, like for example we have chosen job market situation now this will sort all the courses which are in the list based on the job market preparation how well students are prepared to go into the job market when they study in those courses so this is the kind of thing you have to do now if you can see uh, uh that they uh, only i think only one student has uh, contributed towards this so like it has been rated as rated as three stars if the course uh, this if i talk about this haw harm book right so uh, i think it's better if we, if you you can also do comparison that way you can change the layout here then then it is far better i think just a second yeah <clears throat> you can also do the comparison between different universities like you are planning to study at haw augsburg for example right and then you are th thinking to go wait a second <coughs> so htw htw berlin right and then you you can do this kind of comparison here right and you can see what's what does it say <coughs> I think it's taking bit of time. I'll let it load and then we can see. Yeah. <clears throat> it's taking too long. <clears throat> I think it's better uh, go back. Yeah, yeah. So again, uh, you can do this comparison yourself. Uh, I just gave you the idea. You can consider the factors. Okay. Um, for example, it has got a rating of one point three. Uh, if I talk about OTH Regensburg, how well students are prepared? They got the three stars. Again, HAW Augsburg got the three stars, and number of master degree students are there. And one uh, critical factor I also want to tell you, okay, you must also see how many uh, admission seats are available when you are applying for the course. Let's say for some of the courses, like you see, there are a good number of seats. One eighty seats are available, right? And uh, for other courses, might be let's say where we have a less than fifty seats, for example. Uh, yeah, for example, this one, Hochschule Albstadt. They have only twenty-four seats, right? So you <coughs> you might have less chance to get there. So you can definitely institute might be good. You can focus on those kind of institutes. But again, you have to see if there are only twenty-four candidates available. And again, you can also check uh, on a course website uh, from where you are applying. You you can also check the DART website whether they have any limitation. 
on the number of students they want to take whether those those courses are nc free nc fry or not so if they are not nc fry then definitely it doesn't make sense to have them only have one of your uh, courses which you are interested into so you must always think about in the same way as as i have chosen computer science you can change the subject here and then uh, for example civil civil engineering right then uh, if you are you are interested to go into civil engineering side then definitely there are 44 institutes institutions are coming in again you can you can re, uh, refilter your criteria because uh, it has reset everything how well students are prepared uh, when they study from these courses <clears throat> yeah. well, look for example master thesis in cooperation with the work environment where student get chance to work with the professional with the companies so these kind of factors are really important to consider because uh, students studying at akan university then uh, 75% uh, <clears throat> so in se almost 66% of the cases there is a chance that you will get the opportunity to work in a professional environment you will get there is a possibility or the you can say 65% of the case students are saying okay it is possible for you to get there and uh, yeah and uh, take advantage of all those uh, when you study take advantage of those course learn from the practical environment so you you have to focus on these kind of things okay now let's move further into the into the slides <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so again uh, we have talked about the target and shortlist courses you should also research more about the courses not just the dart and chhe websites are there you can focus on the uh, university website you can go on cora google about it you will find the reviews from different students different alumni is there you will find the reviews there you can go on reddit you will find the reviews there you can join the linkedin communities you can try to collaborate with the people there make friends there try to get the information there then you will be well prepared to research about the courses you can uh, speak to the alumni there who who passed out from those courses who, who uh, those institutes who who are already working in a professional environment they can tell you what was their experience what they learnt over there you can talk to the current students they can tell you definitely you are not in germany so normally it is recommended that the courses the, the university you are targeting you must always visit the, those universities you must always visit those courses but considering you are not in the country it is so you have the option to talk to the students you can interact with them try to gain the information how is their study going what benefits they are seeing is this relevant to you or not you can think from your own perspective and then you can go, go beyond you can prepare for that course you can prepare for that university so think about these factors <clears throat> again i have talked about already talked about the location because if you have the priority you money is the priority for you or or study is the priority for you definitely i would recommend study or the courses what you can learn there should be the priority but in some, in some students cases they definitely due to their own personal situation they have to they have to focus on on whether they, it is possible for them to get the part time jobs then definitely it's on your personal choice personal criteria you have you might also want to see the class size as i mentioned earlier okay and what is the major i want to mention this thing very clearly here for example if i talk about the courses related to data analytics or data engineering at munchen okay they have a mixed combination of data analytics or data engineering or maybe if you go for a data science course some at some other institute then <clears throat> those courses will be more focused some other institute might focus might focus uh, on the course from the perspective perspective of data analytics not from the engineering perspective perspective not from the knowledge engineering perspective not from the data engineering perspective so you have to think what you want to do in long term right and then you can decide okay these are the five universities and these five universities are the course structure the course course is majorly focusing focusing on these areas then you can consider to apply for that course right if you don't consider that factor uh, you thought okay this is the data science course for me 
right but then when you come to study here you find that uh, the core 80% of the core structure core study is related to data engineering and you are not interested to go into the software development because data engineering will be more related to software development and data analytics will be more related to artificial intelligence data analytics or uh, preparing the models uh, dealing with stats so you have to think what you want to do and then again fees also another factor like uh, what is the course fee there some of the universities might be free some of the universities might have about 500 euros or maybe 1500 euros fee so you have to think what is your budget what you want to pay and then accordingly you can choose the universities what you want to do there <coughs> so uh, uh, prioritize all i already talked about you have to think all your factors what factors are important and based on that take out prepare a list of universities and what factors are those universities are meeting and then you can do a comparison and apply to couple of universities accordingly follow your gut what you feel what you want to do you you have a faith in yourself right you know yourself better no one else knows you so you must all definitely take suggestions from your friends from your parents from your other known people but definitely at the end you have to see what you can do what you are capable of and then you decide what you want to do right you can take the suggestion from everyone but decide only based on your own own gut what you think you are going to get you can definitely um, discuss your viewpoint if you are considering you are coming for bachelors definitely you might not be that much uh, adult or you are you are not too uh, not so much old in your age right because you are coming from bachelors you might be just 18 or 20 right you can definitely discuss in more detail with parents with someone who is more into who knows more about these things and then finally you can decide accordingly and uh, the last point is that think long term as i said earlier um, some courses might not be uh, might not be relevant in few years for example Uh, any course related to uh, for example any course related to uh, let me think i'm just let me just think an example any course which will not be there or uh, jobs will not be there in that course after 2 years or after 3 years or after 4 years right so those kind of courses you must always avoid right you might feel okay this field is in very de high demand for past 10 years but then you are e you are in the era of technology which is growing very fast new technology has replaced the the old technologies right so that's why you must always think long term focus on latest technologies latest areas which you feel are going to be there for at least 10 15 years 20 years then you can try to focus on those courses and those should be your selection criteria to go for the courses to go for the studies right so basically yeah that that was it for today's session and uh, i hope that is that is relevant for you guys i guess and uh, yeah you can also uh, here i have my website where you can uh, download the free best practices resume guide which will give you the tips how to prepare for the cv well which will which will help you stand out in your applications or even you are applying for the job that will also help us help you so you can also contact me by email so yeah it this free guide is really i tell you i have jotted down my quick tips there which you can use if you use them definitely you are going to get a lot of value there okay so let me take a quick look in the chat and uh, see if there are some questions which i can answer right away and then yeah <clears throat> so avinash says that he finished his mba in 2015 and i'm planning to come to european countries to work and my opinion is that is to come to malta to pursue german language any suggestion on this first of all i have no idea how are the courses how are the universities in malta but definitely you have decided about malta you must have your own reason about it you you might be aware okay Uh, uh maybe you don't have to show the block block account maybe or maybe you have you have some relatives there or someone there who can support you or maybe you have some specific university you have thought about okay which is more relevant to study german definitely germany is the best place to learn 
to do german language related courses there is no question about it but again uh, malta definitely would have some option options to do german language related courses you have your own criteria so think in those terms right if you think that okay uh, if you have some more detailed information why you decided you can write to me anytime i can suggest to you you can contact me by email <clears throat> okay okay uh lakshya is asking how is the kobuk university for financial management program but again first of all i don't know i don't have anything on my tips okay which university is better for what but definitely i have shown you the tool you can go to dart chhe rankings or you can go to chhe rankings website you can just google about chhe rankings you create account there and then you can search about the rankings so uh, when you go to the chhe ranking website itself it will be it will provide you more information because on dart chhe ranking it is providing the limited information so just go to the chhe ranking website think about the courses you want to apply what factors are important for you and then you can filter out the courses uh, considering your factors and then you can decide which course you want to consider okay <clears throat> again uh, you are asking about oxbook oxbook university for international business course for that again you have to visit the chhe ranking website and try try to see wh what factors are important to you whether whether uh, fee is more important to you whether location is more important to you other or whether course structure which is more related to your work experience which is more related to your background you are interested to do those things then based on those factors you can always decide right Uh, yeah so sonal basically uh, sonal is asking what is nc free so basically nc free uh, is very uh, in in german it is called as nc free right so there some seats are nc uh, free and some seats are not nc free so basically if i talk talk in layman terms the seats are not limited when they are nc free so they can take as many as candidates for example in one year they they have taken uh, 60 candidates next year they feel okay they got more applications and they they, they the, the campus has capability the campus has infrastructure to intake more candidates for example 100 in the next year earlier it was 60 and now it is 100 they will they might decide okay 100 applicants are more suitable for us like top 100 these top 100 candidates look good to us so they will go with that and in fact um, let me correct myself they will not decide based on this number okay first last year it was 60 let's go for 100 now no they will decide based on your application how well you fit into the course so last year it was 60 so this year it could be 70 or this year it could be 80 based on how the or maybe it can also reduce next year previously it was 60 it could be 40 class of 40 students so this is what it means nc fry right and when it is nc then it it is decided based on the i don't know in very much detail how they decide the the count for to limit the number of seats in detail but i know the overall they consider the how many student passed out last year in the last semester and based on that they limit the seats uh, in the next semester this is how nc works so nc fry is only based on the applicants how many good applicants are coming in which are related to the course okay ankit is asking what about interdisciplinary courses how do we check about the rankings in those uh, those cases definitely you must always check the rankings of the courses based on what what you want to do for example you want to go for uh, data analytics course right then you must always check the chhe ranking of that particular course based on the factors what you have uh, what are what are the top priority for you you can go to chhe website chhe rankings website or dart chhe rankings you can filter out based on those what are what are the prospects to get a job what are the how how well the course is more more oriented towards the job market right how pre, uh, how many practical uh, best practices uh, says are being followed or professors who are coming from or let's say professionals are coming in to take the lectures so these kind of criteria really make a difference what you what what kind of priorities you have but again your question is about interdisciplinary courses so 
you uh, that is right then in that way you first shortlist the courses based on the chc rankings then you have to deep dive into the syllabus of these courses as i said it is data science right but then you might want to go you want to study into data analytics not into data engineering right and then you have to see what percentage of the course is structured related to data analytics or what percentage of the course is related to data engineering and if you uh, let's say the course is structured as 70% for data analytics and 30% data engineering and you are interested in data engineering then this course will not be relevant for you because you want to study data engineering and the course structure has only 30% focus on that right then it will not make sense to you or even another example could be and data analytics has more application nowadays when it comes to uh, natural language pro processing or image processing right if you think in those terms try to look for those courses which are related to natural language pro processing or which is related to image processing then you have to think how much is the focus in that particular area and when it is an interdisciplinary course then you have to think which is more important for you and is are you getting that that kind of uh, is the focus of the course in that direction or not then only you can you can try to consider that course otherwise you just ignore it and look for the other course uh, uh, are visas being granted for germany right now actually uh, at the moment yes for masters visa applications are already open but again there are lot and lot and lot of applicants in the queue so uh, embassies and consulates are opening up the appointments on day to day basis you just have to keep checking uh, as soon as uh, first you have to get the admission as soon as you have the get uh, you have the admission definitely you can look for the appointment you can also book the appointment first before getting the admission then you have to plan in, at the back of your mind what you want to do basically you are targeting these universities and these are the deadlines and you will definitely have the admission from one of the universities uh, let me give you an example so uh, let's say you are coming for a winter semester 2021 right most of the classes will be starting in september and october and you can easily book an appointment uh, somewhere in august for example starting of august or maybe 10th of august right but you don't have the admission today but uh, maybe you are in june already or uh, you are applying you are into the admission application process then you can already book the appointment for 10th of august to be on safer side right so then uh, because you know the deadlines for all the universities you applied are in july mid of july for example then you are expecting that most of the results you will be have uh, you will be having in your hand by 15th of august for example then rather than focusing on 10th of august or appointment for 10th of august you can focus to have the appointment for 16th or 18th of august so that in one because we getting the visa uh, we, uh, and nowadays i'm checking uh, i'm i'm reviewing and i noticed that embassy is giving the results in a month's time they are coming back with the visa visa application result in a month's time so you must uh, prepare that kind of plan you prepare that kind of time timeline for yourself based on the deadlines of the courses and based on uh, accordingly you can book for the appointment so yeah that is all so oh, so i think i it helped so if it's helpful definitely please leave a comment below if you if you have more doubts definitely i will try to answer uh, later on and then uh, if, if if you believe that okay that was really helpful also leave your comment there and then i will try to have such kind of live sessions in in future maybe once in a month kind of thing i will definitely plan so thanks for joining thanks for the support have a have a good night Okay thanks a lot mm.